Hello and welcome back to Leilani Electronics. Before we get into it, uh, first I want to thank you guys for tuning in, watching my awesome videos and all the circuits that I put up. I got plenty more coming. Um, this video right here is not uh, going to be a circuit, but it's going to be about um, some microprocessors, some old chips. I got a, um, I have a bin of old computer chips that um, I dug out. I've been, you know, looking at them for for a while in the in the in my parts bin where I store them, and uh, so one day I decided to write all the uh, part numbers down to try to see um, what the chips were. A couple of them I recognize, like the 8080s, the 8085s, but a couple of them I had to go online and try to pull the data sheet. Um, this one right here. This is a this is an EEPROM. If you could read the bottom, it says AM27C256. And the 1986, I'm guessing, is the date that this chip was made by AMD. Um, so I, I'm, I know that's an EEPROM because it got 256 on it. Uh, here's another one, but it looks like the sticker is covering the part number. Okay, here's another one covering it. Okay, now we go over to this guy right here. Let me try to focus in on it. Oh, come on, there it is. It says the Intel 76. There it is, 8085. So I'm guessing this is from 1976. I got a couple of these. And let me see. Intel 78, this is 8088. And I got quite a few of these, these uh, EF6802s. I couldn't find much on them. So uh, if anybody knows what these chips are, drop me a line, let me know, email me. Hey, look at it. I shouldn't be touching them, but they're, they're dusty. Let's see what this one is. Intel uh, 1981. I got quite a few 76s. Uh, let's see what this is. Mm. Intel 77. Um, those 60, those SY 6520s and 6820s. I got quite a few of those also. I can't find a part number on them, so I can't tell you guys exactly what they are. I forgot even how I got these. Most of these chips. And here's some more. Let's see what this one is. Okay, that T, that TMP eight one five five. Um, I did find that one. That's a two fifty six byte static RAM, so I do know what that one is. And we'll look at this one. This is a another AMD uh, nineteen eighty one. That is a um. P8255A. I got a couple of those also. Uh, what's on the back here? Okay, here's some more um, Intel 76, 77, 76, 77, 8085, 8085. I got to find my 8080s. Uh, did we check this one already? The R. At the R65, I'm guessing that's a IIP, Mexico. I don't know what that one is. I couldn't find anything on that. Um, I don't know what this chip is either. It says NEC Japan DB, no, D8255. So if you guys could help me out. There's another 6402C. I don't recognize the logo for that chip. You know, most of the logos I recognize, but not for that one. And let's see what we got here. The K8, uh, 40, K8413, N8, 2S, 103N. I forgot what this chip is. I had looked this up years ago. Okay, what's this one? This guy, another, I don't recognize, a 178 
Oh yeah, I did recognize a couple of those. Now this box right here, this this is all. My dad used to bring these to me with chips in them when I was like 11 or 12 or 13. So this thing, you can guess my age by if I tell you this thing is over 30 years old. So I forgot what I even had in here. Oh gosh. Sixty-three. I don't know what that one is. There's a Tandy. Eight hundred four one. Okay, we'll put that back. Okay, here's my. There you have it. My collection of uh, microprocessors, RAMs. I still gotta look up a few part numbers. Uh, the ones I can't find. Somebody help me out. Email me. Go to the website. Uh, send me something so I can find out um, what some of these chips what some of these chips were used for in a data sheet. Um, these SY6820s and SY6520s, I got about 10 of those, but I can't find a data sheet on them. Uh, let me find, um, let me find, I forgot what I did with it. It was over here somewhere. Oh, here they are. Yeah, see the 6520 and the 6820. So I'm guessing there's some form of microprocessor also because I have them with the rest of them. With the 8080s, the 8085. So um, drop me a line and let me know what's up. Thanks for watching. If you got any of these chips, hold on to them. You never know when we may need them again.